What is going on lads and welcome back to my channel for yet again another FIFA 20 trading video. Now I just want to say again at the start of most videos you're going to see me say this but thank you very much for the most recent support and welcome to the new subscribers to my channel. Um, I'm hoping that you enjoy the content and uh, enjoy your time here. So today I'm going to show you something that's quite basic because I've had quite a lot of people on Twitter say to me look I don't know how to trade can you help me or I've got this much money can you help me now a lot of the time it's because I say right let me know your budget and I'll tell you what um, trader method will work for you or like I'll give you a trader method that you could try. Uh, but then the other times are just people randomly direct messaging me which I don't mind at all saying look I don't know how to trade can you possibly help me. So I thought what I'd do is I'd help pretty much everyone by just putting into a video uh, a few basic methods that you could try um, and you could just alternate through if you get a bit stuck and one of them's not working as well etc etc. But what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to Footbin. So as you can now see we are actually on Footbin. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, FIFA 20 players. So a little drop down. And then what you're going to go and do, I think my face cam might be hiding it or it might not. You're going to go down to price and you are going to put, make sure you're in the right console uh, in the top right corner. You're going to put maybe about 3,000 to 5,000. Okay, and then filter by price. And what you're going to do is just look down the list of players and choose a player and then you need to take this player's information and go back onto the game. So we're gonna take Lucas Lever, for example. So we go, we are now back on the game, we've chosen Lucas Lever. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and find the actual live price of Lucas Lever. So just looking at the cheapest price of Lucas Lever, quite simply by just keep changing the max by now until you find a few of them or maybe one of them. There's one for 3.3, but it's looking around 3.4k. So all you're going to do there is drop the price down. Bear in mind tax. If you don't know, tax is 5%, uh, sorry. So you're actually only getting 95% of the money that you sell the card for. Therefore, if I sold a Lucas Labour for 3,400, I would only actually get 3,230 coins in return. So I'm going to be looking to sell mine on for 3.4. So I'm going to put 3.1 in and then I'm just going to try and snipe a Lucas Labour for 3.1 and sell him on for 3.4. So one has popped up for 3.1. I am going to pick that card up. Therefore, I have made 130 coins just off that one card. Now, you may be sat there thinking, wow, you've made 130 coins. Big whoop. At the end of the day, there's one popped up there for 2.8. I did miss out because I was talking. What I was going to say at the end of the day is a card could possibly possible, uh, pop up for less than 3.1 or less than what you have put the max at. Therefore, if I was to pick that card up, I would have made 400 coins. Um, someone might list one for 2k. Someone might list one for 2.5k. You never know. All you need to do is just keep sniping until a card pops up that is going to be a deal. Um, and as long as you've got your max filter at... 3.1 and the cards going for 3.4 then you are bound to make coins so I've literally I mean I didn't even need to cut that there you saw how quick that was uh, I'm going to stick up for 3.4 and um, but what you gotta look out for as well is if you do get a card that has a position change on him so he's been moved to a center mid or a cam or whatever you just need to check that card's specific price because you could be worth a lot more than you actually think now we're going to move on to the second method of the video. Now it's very similar. We're going to use Lucas Lever again as an example. I'm not sure how effective this will be with Lucas Lever. However, we will soon find out. This one is basically a bidding method. So what you're going to do is you're going to set a certain price and you are going to bid on all of these Lucas Levers. As long as you're paying under 3.2k for him, then you are bound to make money. This method is called mass bidding. So essentially what you want to do is literally mass bid on as many Lucas Lavers as you want. A uh, good thing about this is you can keep them in your transfer targets if you were to win some and you had no space on your transfer pile. So what we'll do while we're looking at the third method is uh, we'll wait for these uh, Lucas Lavers to either expire to see if I win any or we'll, um, we'll come back after I've looked at the third method with you. Now the third and final method is actually one that I've already made a video on, so if you want to see it in more detail, do check out that video. But all you're going to do is look for the cheapest price of a silver Premier League player, which for some reason is 700 coins at the moment. So what you're going to do is then just drop it down to 600 coins and then try and pick up as many Premier League silvers as you can for that price. There is a bit of competition to this method, so you have got to be quick at sniping. However, when you pick up a card, you are bound to make coins if you know that they sell for 700 coins minimum. You can actually bid on these cards as well if sniping wasn't working. 
Uh, but like I said, there is quite a lot of competition, so the chances of you winning a card on bid are a lot slimmer than you winning one uh, through sniping. So we'll see if I can pick up any cards at all, uh, and then we'll go from there. So I do manage to pick up one um, for... 550 so what you do is without listing up for 700 because you know that the cheapest is that you are actually going to compare his price uh, And just find out what is his actual cheapest is his seems to be a thousand coins So I picked him up for 550. I'm gonna sell him on for hopefully 950 if he doesn't sell I'll knock his price down, but that is the third and final way of making them sort of coins So what we're gonna do now is check Lucas Labor see if I've won any see if I've uh, been outbid so as you can see, I did actually pick up one and two Lucas Labors there. And I'm going to be able to sell him on for 3.4. So I'm going to stick him up for 3.4. And then we'll check if any of them have sold. And that will be the end of today's video. Now today's video was literally just like a, a basics, back to basics trading. Because I have had a lot of people, like I said, come and uh, get in touch with me and basically say, look, I want to learn how to trade. Well, this is the three most, these are, sorry, the three most popular methods that you can uh, start using. So what I would do is use these and then when you want to get a bit more advanced check out some of the other videos because I am going to be doing stuff like icon flipping I'm going to be doing more high risk um, high reward trading methods and I'm actually going to be starting a trading series very soon. So if you are looking forward to that please smash the like, share this on Twitter, subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. It's a quick note as well, I know I've just ended it but Lucas Levers are selling as you can see so just a... Uh, just some proof that you are actually making money when you're doing this. But yeah, that is it for now. So I'll see you all next time.